Camera on. Light on. Howdy, Tinker Nerds. This is the comment show for my simple voice controlled home automation video. Wait a sec. Teaser on. You can click here if you haven't seen it. All right, let's see what you all had to say. A voice controlled house used to be the house of the future, but now I'm waiting for a future where everything is mind controlled. Me too. Here, watch this. I guess my bodily functions are mind controlled. Bodily functions off. They're voice controlled as well. Toilet on. That's much better. $5 Arduino? Where do I get that? I live outside the US and they charge over 20 euros for it. Commentator boy, let me introduce you to the sometimes frustrating but often very useful world of Chinese knockoffs. You can find Arduinos most of the time for less than $5 and they deliver to almost anywhere in the world free of charge. The downside is that the delivery time can range anywhere from 6 to 12 weeks and the quality of the product may not be as good as the more expensive counterparts. But needless to say, you pay for what you get. What about asking a voice module for the Arduino and do the same voice commands? They're cheap and not that hard to use. You could indeed just use an Arduino and an Arduino voice module. I was trying to focus more on the aspect of Android and Arduino cross communication, but if you just wanted to replicate what I did in the video, then you could indeed go this route. And if you need help on that, I found this nice Instructables tutorial that should guide you through the steps. Are we getting so degenerate that we're getting too lazy to do things like turn on the lights? Yes. Wally, here we come. Can you maybe do one that when you turn on the lights, a speaker or something says lights on, and when it's off, it says lights off? In App Inventor, there is actually a text-to-speech component where you could add audio feedback for whenever you perform an action. This may be even better by using an ESP8266. You can totally use the ESP8266 chip to do this project over Wi-Fi. It's a great and very useful little chip and I'll probably be using it more in future tutorials. However, like I said before, what I was focusing primarily on in this video was the communication between an Android and an Arduino. And because of that, the components that I used in the video made more sense. Would it be possible to use a Raspberry Pi to program an Arduino remotely so that you can change your code without having to leave your main computer? It's funny you should ask that because just the other day I ran across create.android.cc, which is a website that allows you to create and upload code to your Arduino from the web. It's also a good place for storing your projects and getting help. So with that website, I would assume that it should be possible to upload code from your Raspberry Pi, but I actually haven't done this myself, so I don't really know. You all had a lot of really good comments this week, and I really appreciate all of them, and I apologize for not being able to get to all of them. As far as updates go, I am still working on next week's project, and fingers crossed that I can get it done and get a video out next week. Also, I'm still in the process of making a channel video for those that aren't yet subscribed, and I plan to bring back the Did You Know type videos as a separate series. Although, I may start releasing those on Wednesday as opposed to Friday so that they're not confused with my Do It Yourself series. That's all that I have in the works, and hopefully the videos and projects will start being a lot more consistent with a lot less change. Alright guys, thanks again for all the comments, and I'll see you all next time.